Hi, I'm Danny, and these are my diecast disasters. Uh, here on the turntable today, we've got a little Hot Wheels P928. That's a Porsche 928, but they just call it a P928. I wonder if there was some licensing thing, who knows. It's one of Larry Wood's designs, and they produced this car from 1982 to 2002. This version was produced in 82 and 83, so it's made it all that way. It's a bit battle-worn, plenty of paint missing, and the wheels are alright, but the axles are bent, they don't turn very well. And this is also one of those old 80s ones that don't have an interior, they've just got a really black dark windscreen. This car was sent to me by Ken in America, so thanks once again Ken. Uh, the posts on this one were outies, so I'm just having to use a round burr on my Dremel to put some marks into them so I can drill them out. The good old days when they used to have metal bases and metal bodies on all of the cars. So my regular viewers have probably noticed I haven't been putting out as many videos lately. I'm oh, sorry about that, I've actually started a new job and I'm often working six days a week at the moment. So um, hopefully that won't last forever and I'll get back on track trying to get my videos out a bit more regularly. Okay, now I've drilled those out and I can pop the base off. There it goes. No paint on that, but it's looking pretty grubby. Some oils and gunk on it from over the years. A bit of fluff in there. So there's the windscreen. You can see it's actually just really dark. Tinted plastic, not actually black, but you can't really see through it when the car's all together. Uh, now I'm going to use a cutting disc on my Dremel just to remove the old axles. As I mentioned before, they're a bit bent and the wheels are uh, not really touching the ground. So I just cut off one of the wheels and then I should be able to pull the other ones and the rest of the axle out. See that one's a bit bent and tight in there. And there it goes. So that's the car fully disassembled. So now it's time to remove the paint from the body using some paint stripper the paint will bubble up and then I can wash it off with some water. Okay so there's the body after stripping and the base and I'm going to give them a further clean up with the wire brush on my rotary tool. You can see it removing all that oxidation and any old scraps of paint that are still on there surface of this is a little bit pitted and worn but not too bad. You can see the burnishing bringing out some of the details on it. And then the base as well. So there's no paint on it but you can see how much gunk is on there. Collected up over the years. Burnish it and make it nice and shiny and clean again. Okay, so here's our two castings after I've cleaned them up. We'll just take a closer look at the body here. And if you can notice, there's a little bit of pitting in there. It's not super bad, but you can definitely see it. So I'm going to give the whole thing a sand, just using some 1200 grit sandpaper and a bit of water. Just trying to smooth off some of those rough areas of the surface. 
but I'm um, definitely not going to overdo it and remove any of that detail that's in there. This is actually sort of a limited amount of detail on these old Larry Wood designs as it is. So after a little bit of sanding, I think it's looking a bit smoother. Uh, you can see a rough area right at the back there with like a brew mark or something it's also a bit pitted so I'm going to put a bit of this thick super glue over it just to filler it up uh, to fill up the pitted areas and then I'll allow that to cure and then I can file and sand that down smooth Right, that's looking a lot better, I think. Uh, next, I'll drill and tap the posts I'm using a 1.7 millimeter drill and 256 tap. And so here's that previously scruffy looking old Porsche body tidied up and ready for some paint. I'm going to start out with some black primer and then uh, my favorite color for these 928s is definitely silver so I've painted this with a magnesium sort of dark silvery color next I detailed the lights with some normal silver and some clear red and orange Here are some Porsche decals that I've made to go on the rear. So I'll just apply those and that's right over that rough area that I fixed up. And here I've printed some HWP928 license plates and some little badges for the front. I only needed one of each, but um, I print more than I need in case I mess some up. They just printed on A4 paper. Then I can cut them out and glue them on with a little bit of PVA glue. And I think the paper works quite well for these tiny badges because it's raised up a little bit. And I'll seal all of that with a couple of coats of gloss clear. So onto the windscreen now. It's a little bit scuffed. Uh, not too bad. So I'm going to sand it and polish it. I'll start out with some 1200 grit sandpaper. Trying to remove the worst of the marks. But I'm also trying not to sand down the windscreen wipers on the front and the rear as well and then onto the 2000 grit so there it is after I've sanded it it's less scratched and gouged but the windows are now quite opaque so I'm going to polish them up with some plastic polish and here is how it's looking after that treatment and that's a lot more shiny and less scratched than when I started out. Here's the base, the holes through the tabs that were holding the axles in are a little bit small for the new axles I'm going to be putting in it so I'm just going to use this little drill here to drill those out a bit wider. Okay, so you can see my new axles are fitting in there properly now. Um, and I 
ended up having to 3D print some new wheels for this. In two parts, there's the tire there and the rim, the Fuchs rims. I couldn't actually find any um, genuine original 928 rims to print. Uh, these are Fuchs rims from a 911, I think. Anyway, I figured they're close enough. So I've painted the rims silver and the tires black and then I just have to press them together. And there they are assembled. I think they're looking nice and tidy. It's definitely easier when you can paint the rims and the tires separately. And I just use a little bit of super glue to glue them onto the axles there. Okay, so there's the base assembled and I'll just have to put the body on, so I'll pop the windscreen in and then the base goes on just like that, no interior to worry about and then a couple of 256 button head screws will hold the whole thing together. And so that is our little Hot Wheels P928 tidied up. I thought it was a bit of a simple build just to do the car. So I'm also going to make a little base to display it on. So I'm going to use my 3D printer to print the bulk of it out. So I'm using a stone fence and with a gate in it and a cobblestone base. These are both off of Thingiverse. Started out giving it a black base coat and then I've just masked off the uh, base sort of frame on the outside there. Uh, then I hit all the unmasked stuff with white. I've got a few random colors here. Browns, blue and a gray and I've randomly painted the cobbles. Uh, then I've painted the wooden fence. And then the stone walls, just in a grey. Now I've got some watered down black paint and I'm going to paint all over those cobblestones with it. I hit the fence with a dark grey wash. And some black wash over the stone fence. Once this is all dried I could dry brush it with some white. That's going to start to bring out all the details. So white dry brushing over just about all of it. see it really starting to bring out those cobblestones there. Right so here it is dried up after the washes and dry brushing. Here I've got a little dried piece of root from a tree. It's just a little piece and I'm going to use this for a trunk for a little rose bush growing up the side of the fence. So I'm using um, super glue just to glue that into place. Let's hold it there for a few seconds when I want it. Hopefully it'll stick on. Then I could use some more super glue just putting a little bit along the inside of those branches and then I can use the tweezers there to move those into place and hold them up against the fence as well until they stick. So I'll just dip the end of my skewer in a little bit of the super glue and I can apply it to the inside of the branch.
And then uh, once I had all the branches where I wanted them, I can trim it up with the little scissors here. Here I've got some green weathering powder and I'm just going to dust the um, stone fence with a little bit of that. Maybe a little bit of moss or algae on there. And I see all of this with a really light coat of matte clear. Uh, next I'm going to take off these masks from the base. Hopefully that's kept that black paint relatively clean. Okay, so now I'm going to add just a little bit of grass. Got a grass mixture here. I think it's cow pasture maybe from Knock. Um, and I'm going to just apply that by sprinkling it on. Uh, but first I'll put some PVA glue down where I want the grass to be, just around the base of the fence there. And then I can sprinkle on the grass mixture. And then tip off the excess. And then I actually used a vacuum cleaner to remove any other loose bits. And it also helps to make the grass stand upwards. Okay, so here's some foliage. It used to be in a nice container and then my dog chewed it. I'm going to use this for the foliage on my rose bush. So I'm just painting the branches with some glue where I want the foliage to be. And then I can sprinkle it on. There we go. And of course that'll stick to the glue and be the leaves for my rose bush. Uh, here's the rose bush once it's dried. Now I need some flowers on it. So here I've got some snow that I've colored with a little bit of pink paint. It's dried and then I can sprinkle that on for the pink flowers on my rose bush. Here's some little grass tufts that I've made. This is just on the back of a baking tray and I've made them with a drop of PVA glue and my static grass applicator. And then here I'm making some flower stems out of an old brush. So I'm cutting off a few bristles. And then here I've got some more of the snow, like the modeling snow. Very fine white sandy sort of stuff. And then into that I've put some isopropyl alcohol and a drop of purple paint this time. This is the same way I made the pink stuff for the rose. And I mix it up and then once that's dried I dipped the end of some of these bristles in some glue. And then I can dip that into my purple uh, flower mixture that I've made. I'll let all that dry. So here's my tufts. I've glued them on here and there along the edge of the stone wall. And now I can glue in some of my little flowers. So I'm just dipping the bases in some PVA glue. Stick them in where I want them. So 
So that's starting to look quite nice and colourful now. I think I'm nearly finished. There was one other touch I wanted, which was a few dead leaves lying around. And I wanted some nice looking little oak leaves. So after a bit of experimentation of how to make them, I ended up printing them directly onto the plate on my 3D printer. They're three millimeters long. Uh, then I could spray paint them and glue them on here and there onto the base. So there you go, there's our little countryside cobble road themed base to display our Porsche on. Just before we look at the finished car, we'll take a quick look back at what we started with. Our scruffy little Hot Wheels P928 from 1982. It's looking well worn out, but I'm sure there's a nice German classic hidden in there somewhere. Let's see what we can do. And here it is, our finished Hot Wheels Porsche 928. It's been torn apart, stripped down, cleaned up, and repainted in a dark silvery magnesium. It's had those scruffy old windows, giving a good shine, and of course some nice new wheels. It's not scraping on the ground anymore. I definitely think it's gone from a pretty scruffy looking car into something that looks pretty smart. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. A massive thanks to Ken for sending the car over. Thanks heaps to my Patreons for supporting the show. Again, sorry I haven't been putting out as much content lately. I've just been so busy. But I am going to keep making videos as much as I can, so hang in there. Thanks heaps to you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy it. Hang around for some pictures of the car on the base. If you want to see similar content, like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff. Check out my other channel where I do some sim racing stuff. There's links down below. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.